Hello there. Radio Oddity sent me this HF008 and M916 mag mount to review. My agreement with them is that I would provide an honest review, so stay till the end of the video to see my opinion. The M16 base mount is solid construction with three magnets, but I feel that the boots that are included are an afterthought. They're very thin, low quality. At the base, we have an SO239 connector, and you have about 12 and a half feet of RG58AU with a PL259 connector on the end. It is a crimped connector. I'd rather have seen a soldered connection. The HF008 portable telescoping antenna really isn't telescoping at all, but it comes with a base loaded coil. Assembly is pretty easy and fast. Screw the loading coil to the base. Next, screw the extension rod. And then it comes with two different sizes of whips, the small and the large. Most bands will use the small, some will need the large. It just screws to the extension piece. Then there's a jumper cable for the loading coil. If you're using 80 meters, you don't need a jumper. The antenna will cover from 80 meters to six meters. There is a guide to help you tune the antenna. Also included in the kit is a two millimeter Allen wrench to turn the grub screw so you can adjust the whip of the antenna to tune it. Because of the design of the loading coil, to achieve an SWR below two to one on 80 meters, the design sacrifices bandwidth. You'll have to retune every time you change frequencies. It gets better as you move to 40 meters and 20 meters. By 15 meters, it's not a problem. They probably should have just designed it for 40 meters and up and try not to cover 80. I'm not going to try to tell you how this antenna performs because I have no accurate way of testing that. I'm also not going to say I made 40 contacts in an hour. That's easy to do with these band conditions. But I will say I kept finding myself switching to my in-fed half wave to make contacts when the HF008 just couldn't get it done. Magnetic base mount is sturdy construction, but with these flappy rubber feet, I would worry about them holding up over time and not tearing. Also note that on Radio Oddity's website, they state not to use this for mobile use. As far as the HF-08 antenna, with its loading coil and having to constantly adjust it and tune the whip for each band and sometimes within the band, I find that I prefer an in-fed half wave better, especially for POTA use. I would find though that this antenna could be good for like a balcony of an apartment or somewhere where you don't have a lot of space. I am excited though to see Radio Oddity is branching out into the other areas of amateur radio. And I would like to see what products they bring to the market next. What would you like to see? Let me know in the comments down below.